We thought this storm was bad an hour ago when it uh, destroyed my roof rack. It's even worse now. But Kay has found somewhere just up the road with bogs. Oh, nicely done, camper van K. Bogs. remember driving past it on the way out. It's free. Bogs. Look at the bogs here in this North Devon car park. What? Oh. Don't want to get this camera any more wet. A very <laughs> British oh, yes. camping trip. Oh. Look at the steam coming off of Nomadic Kangoo's knee. Hot stuff. Hello darkness, my old friend. And it's an afternoon at the beginning of May. Watch our breath. Ready? Now, if anyone needed any more proof of global warming, there it is. Oh please, camper van K. Oh yeah, that's just pure porn that is. Oh wow. Oh, I didn't put any sugar in mine. Did I put too much in yours? Oh. I can't tell it's a bit sweet. It's sweet, is it? It's sweet, yeah. But I don't think it's I'll sweet. Only it's two sugars worth. Well. Mine's okay. No? I'll make another one if you want. No, 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 I'm not. Celebrations are in order because... It's my 58th birthday! Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't really tell you the age, should I? Oh. Happy birthday, Kate. Never ask a woman's age or weight. I'm not going to tell my weight on that. No, like, not, not on air. <laughs> Although, she did tell me her weight, but uh, without me asking first. Kay's bathroom, not only does she have a basket full of coloured pens, but a list of all the different manifestations of the ego. This is excellent. Wow. Is breaking news here. Camper Van K is considering doing a ley line tour of Britain. Expound. <laughs> it's called the Bellinus Line, and I'm not in the picture. Here you go. <laughs> oh. And it, it's called the Bellinus Line or the Albion Line, and it's a straight line all the way through the UK from the Isle of Wight all the way through all the spiritual centres you'll find that all the churches on this line are in tip-top condition everywhere else is going crap but this mm. all the churches in here you'll find that they're really good condition it mm. goes all the way up to scotland but it doesn't just end in the uk it goes all the way down into europe down to france and into spain and it also goes up to the so we are we're on the three degrees west meridian there aren't we roughly I don't know what he's talking about. It's me for bringing a bit of no, science into it. There's another one here, look, from oh, where... Oh, there's another one. Here, from here, where you were, mm -hmm. up here in Norfolk, all yeah. the way down to... So, Lowestoft is on a ley line. Then you waken the knights of old and tell them to get to work to save the country again. Ooh, where's that, in Warwickshire? What was it? Got Nile Stone, Warwick, Warwick, oh, Warwickshire Trail, um, where is it? Faroe Islands all the way down through France to Mallorca. It goes further than that. And Kay tonight is cooking fish cakes and onions with boiled vegetables. Opinion on food, the nomadic kangoo. Uh, it's free. It's no. <laughs> There's me not knowing the word, but gastro. Up there. Gastro, gastro intestinal. Yes, Master Chef. <laughs> Textbook. 
What, what do you want to say? I don't know. How are you wasting your video? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> traveled a lot of miles yesterday just to get washed out in a freezing May storm with 70 mile an hour gusts and I'm very grateful Campervan K came along to uh, look after my solar panel in the high winds and the Matic Kangoo for inspiring the mission but I have a feeling that this has turned out to be more arduous <laughs> than we were anticipating, thanks to the wonderful British weather. And the Matic Kangoo has a job to go back to and limited number of days off, so... Yeah, this could be the end of the trip this morning. So, just really thank you for the wonderful energy of my viewers and subscribers that uh, some of you wanted to join me for this just, yeah, just to come and hang out with me. How wonderful. And let's not forget why this is so controversial that our government has tried to prevent us meeting each other. Because when people meet without the telly on, they start discussing things. And if they already like each other before they start discussing things, then they can agree to disagree on things and also get to hear other people's opinions and how they arrived at their opinions. Whereas if you're isolated and all you get is your little echo chamber and uh, whatever news channels you watch, whatever YouTube channels or bit shoot channels that you watch and they just hone you down into an opinion set, it's then very hard to meet other people and have any common ground at all, unless they're exactly the same as you. And this is not, not a new thing. It's like, say, Christianity, right? You think, well, there's one Bible, right? There's one God, one Messiah. Why doesn't everyone believe the same thing? But the thing is, everyone draws the line in the sand at different points, ethically. And that is the beauty of humanity, is that we can all have different things that we consider right and wrong. And when you look at, say, a book from the Bronze Age like that, and try and put that in the modern time, people are going to think, no, oh God, no, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be burning witches. I'm going to be hating gays. I'm not going to stop eating seafood. And... Uh, I mean, I can't really go for, um, you know, virgin births and uh, surviving death and all that kind of stuff. You know, eventually people just think, no, and then it breaks off. Religion breaks off into all the different sects. And you've got your Baptists, your Catholics, your Wesleyans, and your Seventh-day Adventists, and your Mormons, and uh, they can never really go to each other's church. I mean, there was an effort with the United Reformed Church, but... It doesn't really work, and it is wonderful when people of different uh, opinions can meet up in peace and find their common goals, or even common enemies, it often works. But uh, yeah, the way this artificial common enemy has been imposed upon us as an attempt to unify us, jeez, that was cynical. Ooh. I remember Ronald Reagan in the 80s saying, I couldn't help at one point in my discussions with, privately with General Secretary Gorbachev, when you stop to think that we're all God's children, wherever we may live in the world, I couldn't help but say to him, just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held. 
if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. And you see the beginnings of this, that if they could have faked a UFO invasion, even only on television, if not with uh, you know, real machines capable of that illusion, then they would have attempted that. I mean, look what they have pulled off and look at how far they've got. Yeah. Look at these enormous movements that have come on the back of a 0.04% carbon in the atmosphere, of the thinnest the atmosphere has ever been in Earth's history. And to say that everything's getting warmer when it's not. I was in a freezing 70 mile an hour hailstorm yesterday in May. Okay, that's my rant. I might end up being a whole episode of just a rant on my pillow.